At my friend's funeral today, the minister referred to her as an unclaimed treasure and I'm pouting. All the family and friends who love her and who do claim her were there but if you're unmarried, you're unclaimed. Uh. The priest brought up infidelity during my cousin's wedding. She knew that was a thing that he often spoke about during weddings. So she and her husband asked him not to. He still snuck it in. A year later, a friend was getting married at the same church. I told her about the priest's ponchon for bringing up infidelity during wedding ceremonies and suggested she ask him not to do it. She thought I was being ridiculous. He did a whole monologue on infidelity. Priests are fucking weird. This happened to my friend's friend. After he died from cancer. The clergyman at the funeral went on and on about how the deceased did not merit to have a family. As if all his accomplishments in life amount to nothing because he didn't marry and have kids. Sorry for your loss. Op. Ugger at my wife's grandfather's funeral last year. The minister they hired went on about how the gay agenda is a threat to heaven. All while our daughter, who he bought a pride flag for, was right there. Sorry they did that. Op. I was raised Catholic. It made me a stone-cold atheist. If a minister said that about me at my funeral, I'm coming back as a ghost to haunt them. And while I'm at it, I'll also haunt the person who thought I, staunchly atheist all my life, would have wanted a religious official at my funeral. At my papa's funeral the priest called him the wrong name. Twice. I don't know why we hire religious strangers to pretend they knew our loved ones. How awful to have one final not married yet. Dig at her funeral. WTF. Mentioning she was unmarried would have been unnecessary period. But to phrase it like that as if being single means no one claims you in front of a whole room of people who obviously claimed you is especially unkind. A friend of mine committed suicide a number of years back. He was one of the most outspoken atheists I've ever known. Sometimes to the point of being abrasive about it. A good man. Just sometimes liked to stir the pot. A priest gave his eulogy and made it deeply religious. It seemed like his family appreciated it. But I didn't feel like he would have. Though it's also possible he would have found it hilarious. I'm sorry for your loss. Op. Religion is a common source of regressive and disrespectful attitudes like that. At my Oma's funeral we specifically instructed the pastor to celebrate my Oma's life. Instead he made it all about saving the souls of anyone who hadn't already been saved. Frida is gone but it's not too late for you all type shit. I'm currently training to become a death doula to make sure families know that there are other options out there. I'm sorry this happened to you and your friend family. I'm so sorry for your loss. She's lucky to be remembered by you as a kind and accomplished person. Sounds like you were a good friend. Funeral of a friend who committed suicide. Priest ragged on and on about unnatural sin and straying from heaven for more than 15 minutes straight. I had to leave. Better make sure to throw out that one last objectification. Wow. There's no hate like God's love. Fuck the clergy. Fuck the churches. Fuck capitalism. Minister is literally implying that her only job was to get married and have babies. Fuck that. Gross. Dude the last funeral I went to co-worker's wife brought up how they met when he was 30 and she was. 16. He joked about her being what? 12. The congregation politely tittered but the rest of his co-workers bristled uncomfortably. Years ago I had a friend pass from a failed double lung transplant. 
The minister kept talking about his faith in God and my friend was not religious whatsoever. So. Disrespectful. I don't even know. It's like he didn't even try to make it about my dear friend and instead turned it into church. Service. Religion yet again proving how irrelevant and out of touch it is priest who gave the homily at my fiancé's aunt's viewing went on a ten-minute diatribe about how we'll all see each other in hell until Jesus comes to take us out. Her children not estranged in any way. Just less Catholic were doing their best to not crack up at the ridiculousness. A priest went on a ten-minute rant about teenage pregnancy. At my grandmother's funeral, I regret not speaking up. I think grief and shock kept me from cussing him out. Gosh I'm so sorry for your loss. Even reading it made me scrunch up my nose in disgust. And I can't imagine attending the funeral and listening to this crap. It's honestly so gross. Absolutely vile and profoundly out of touch. In my past life as a church goer I was the angry letter writer in the congregation more than once. This would have brought me out of retirement. My aunt officiated my sister's wedding. Her entire sermon was about how important it was for her as a wife to become a mother. Literally. L-L-L-L-L-I-T-E-R-A-L-L-Y telling her that her womb is the most important thing that she brings to her. Relationship. Was at the funeral of my grandmother-in-law. Sweet lady donated a lot to the church. Priest went on a political rant about local candidates. Confounded face. I would legitimately throw hands. Nothing makes an atheist faster than being raised Catholic. Just like all the comments about being too good looking to be single. As if when you're remotely f cable you have to belong to some man. Only being extremely ugly can get you out of that duty. I am so sorry for your loss. And think the pastor should be put out to pasture. At my former father-in-law's funeral the preacher who had known both of them all their lives talked. About how hard my late mother-in-law had been to live with and then told some misogynistic joke. About a farmer whose wife had been kicked by a donkey. Both of my grandmothers died in the last two years. Two funerals. At both funerals they stood up there and talked about how they were such good strong women who simply did the work and never complained. My whole family crying and nodding. I watched my family walk all over them while they were alive. Just disgusting. Made me see my family very differently. There is a shit ton of hidden abuse in our family and if I died tomorrow I wouldn't even be one of those good strong women who never complained. Because I spoke out. I am not surprised. This is what religious preachers do. It is disgusting. I am glad to be non-religious. At my friend's dad's funeral. The pastor spent half an hour ranting about people not contributing enough money for their soccer league and other extracurricular activities. I don't know why we let these people speak for the dead. They don't know shit. Interpreting this as generously as possible. Maybe the minister was simply saying. No. I ain't got shit. That's a terrible thing to say. And there's really no way around it. What a creep. Imagine being berated at your own funeral for not being married pouting. So sorry for your loss. Purple heart. Every wedding and funeral I have attended without a preacher priest clergy has been better for it. What in the fresh squeezed Gilead hell is this fucking bullshit? I'm sorry the priest used your friend's funeral of all places as a forum for his bizarre and ass. Backwards beliefs. Every religion treats women as property.